Imagine the sun setting like a piece of liquid candy into the ocean and imagine that you are there on the edge of the world, on the edge of the water, feeling the waves caress you from all sides. Imagine yourself there in that moment. excited about today because today we are actually making one of my Pakistan travel dreams happen. We are bringing it to reality. And what is that dream? Well, it is driving from Karachi in Sindh all the way to Gawadar or maybe even further in Balochistan along the magical, beautiful and scenic Makran Coastal Highway. I am super excited to get going. So I guess we should probably travel, right? Let's go. This is Hingle National Park, an epic sprawling landscape where the road winds its way around rocks, around pure barren, barren solid land that looks like a landscape from another world. And this landscape stretches out into infinity. And you know, the horizon is so far beyond anything that you've ever seen before. Craggy, rocky, naked. And it looks completely inhospitable. Yet, it's home to thousands of people. It's home to many different kinds of animals and unique species. It's all just zabardast. This place on the edge of the world, on the edge of our world. Right in the middle, a towering presence, a statue, nature made, not man made. She's called the Princess of Hope. Apparently, she was named the Princess of Hope after Angelina Jolie's trip to Balochistan in the early 2000s. Whether I believe that or not, doesn't matter. What matters is that she stands tall above the landscape. Can you imagine being there on top of the world, looking out onto this different planet? Here we are. It's a really, really long route from Karachi all along the coast. And I'm pretty amazed. We still actually have internet. We have reception, we have good internet with jazz and I'm actually able to track the route itself. So I wanna show you how this actually looks. We start from Karachi. We go all the way along the coast until we reach Hingle National Park, this green patch right here. And then we keep on driving up until Ormara Beach, which is where we are right now. Let me show you. We finally arrived here. Yeah, this is the very first beach that I'm seeing in Balochistan. Ormara Beach and just look at the scale of this thing. It's massive. It's like it never ends in that direction and it definitely doesn't end in that direction. This is paradise. This is paradise. How does nobody know about this place? Wow. Here it is. A beach that's a dream. A beach that's almost like an oasis and a beach unknown to most people in the world. Yet, here it is, caressed by the warm Arabian Sea. Caressed by the warm sun rays and caressed by very few people. Hmm. 
it was hard to leave. But you know what? Just ahead of us awaited other adventures. And then disaster struck. I have to tell you something. It's really embarrassing. We're just on our way to Goado on the Macron Coastal Highway and we're getting pretty close. We're about 150 kilometers away and our tire just burst. Yep. Here's some tools. Here's the tire. I think we're just about to fix it now. With the help of that handy thing. And it burst in this place of all places in the world it burst here there is nothing here in my macron reverie i could just picture myself running along that road into the far distance the far horizon running into infinity but no that didn't actually happen <laughs> we managed to fix the tire and we were back on our way very quickly just a bit further up along the coastal highway After what seems like hours upon hours of driving, we have finally made it to Gawadar. And Gawadar is the main port city right here in this region, in this part of Balochistan. And it's a pretty essential, important pit stop. Now, I'm probably going to disappoint you because in this vlog, I will not tell you a single thing about Gawadar. Well, apart from what I've just told you now, you're going to have to wait until the next vlog to find out about all the amazing stories that I would like to tell you about the city. Now, in the meantime, we have to keep on traveling along the Macron Coastal Highway. Let's go! I think that's our boat right there. They're waiting for us. I can't believe we're so far just on the edge of Pakistan and we're just about to go just that little bit further. <laughs> Shut up. So then we continued. We continued along the coast until we reached the Ran beach, far along the coast of Balochistan, right towards the very end of the Makran coastal highway and there there was the water, there was the rock, there was the raw beauty of Balochistan. You see, you never really expect waters in Balochistan to be this shade of turquoise, green and blue. Here we are, just piercing our way through the waves on this tiny fisherman's boat in the middle, in the middle of nowhere. And the sea is so calm and warm and peaceful with the sun's rays reflecting off the surface like a mirror. I just wish I could jump in and feel the water on my own skin. Hang on, that's actually a really good idea. And can you believe that in the last eight minutes we drove all along the coast of Balochistan, all along the Makran Coastal Highway, that legendary piece of road, that majestic route that is almost never included in the roundups of the most beautiful roads in the world. And why? Because it sits on the edge of Asia? Hmm. That's the whole beauty of it. That's why we're here, right on the edge, floating on the water. 